Welcome back to Time to Football. Today's video, I'm gonna do something that you guys have been asking me forever to do for you guys. And it's gonna be a what's in my football bag video. So I've got my football bag right here. We're gonna go through everything that's in that bag, what I use for football. Now, the seven on seven season is coming up. A lot of you guys may have already started. A lot of you guys are in the seven on seven tournaments. So this video is definitely gonna be geared towards the seven on seven style. Everything that you need to know, parents, uh, for your kids that you're taking them to games, to tournaments, kids, players, everything that you're bringing to tournaments, everyone playing flag football, it's flag football tourney season right now, if you're playing the world championships, you're gonna wanna know what's in my bag because you're gonna wanna know what you need to bring for your games. Now, I partnered with East Bay on this video, and the reason I partnered with East Bay is everything that I have in this bag, I've got from East Bay. They have all the selection, all the gear, everything you'd ever want. They ship internationally, and it's the reason why I partner with them, including everything I'm wearing right now, some of my favorite stuff for 7 on 7. I'm going to go through that. And just for you guys, I'm going to include all the links of every single thing that's in my bag and what I'm wearing in the description of this video. So now that's enough talking. Let's stuff and get into the video, show you what's in my football bag. We're going to start with what I'm wearing because what you wear in 7 on 7 is very important. So my setup right now, what I'm wearing is for a little bit warmer weather. I've got a short sleeve compressive top. Uh, this is the e-vapor material and I love e-vapor because they've got so many different colors. They've got sleeveless, they've got short sleeve like I have on now, they even have half sleeves. And I know in this particular model they've got over 20 different colors so you can match with any type of uniform you're going to be wearing. Next up I've actually got training shorts. These are the training shorts right now, it's kind of tough to see. Uh, but they are just a basic black. They've got over 15 different colors, I think, of training shorts. And the reason why I like these particular ones, where I have the link in the description, is because they're seamless, they're very lightweight, they're very breathable, and they have no pockets. So you have zero distraction, your hands aren't gonna get caught in it, other people's hands aren't gonna get caught in it, and because that can break fingers, do something like that. So you definitely want a training short, whether it's these or something else, you want something that has no pockets, that's super lightweight. Next up, I always wear compressive leggings. You guys that have been following my channel know that I love camo. So I've got a pair of the actual e-vapor camo leggings on, as you can see. They've got different leggings. They've got the three-fourths. A lot of you guys like to wear those. They got the full legging. They've got them also in over 20 different colors. So you definitely want something that's compressive. It's gonna keep your muscles warm. Uh, that's why a lot of people wear compression. It's gonna regulate that muscle temperature. It's also gonna reduce muscle fatigue, and then you can look good while you're doing it. So now we're gonna get into what's actually in this bag, all different things uh, that I'm gonna use during my games this season. Now, if I'm not wearing my Snoop money cleats for seven on seven, I'm definitely gonna pull out something like this because I still wanna make a statement. I'm gonna be wearing the Jordan Retro 11 cleats. Now these cleats are gonna be super soft, super comfortable. For tournaments, you're gonna be able to play all day. And again, you're gonna be able to look good doing it. They've got so many different colors to these, also on eastbay.com. Now I still have another pair of cleats. And now these are the Vapor Untouchable Pro 3 cleats in the black and white colorway. Now the reason why I always bring these cleats along is these are my more serious performance cleats. If I want to play the best of the best, no holes barred, I'm definitely going to be rocking these. These have my favorite traction, like I talk about in my videos, and they have the adaptable fit with the mesh upper. So these are definitely going to be my high performing cleats if I'm playing a really, really serious 7-on-7 seven seven game. Now, equally as important as the cleats that you wear are gonna be the socks that you wear them with. The socks are gonna work in combination with your cleats to give you the best traction, the best grip, and the best fit of the cleat. Now, there's different brands out there and all of them are gonna be cushioned. I rock a lot of different brands depending on the cleat that I wear. So first, we're gonna take a look at the Adidas Traction Menace Crew. Now, these are gonna be the Adidas version of the cushioned socks. You can use them for multiple sports, definitely love them for football. They're all, all the socks I go over are gonna be padded around the Achilles area, and then they're gonna be very cushioned in the actual uh, forefoot of the sock. Now, you're not gonna to have to wear double socks if you wear something like this. And all of the socks also are gonna have these little kind of gripped ribbing areas that provide exceptional grip with your cleats. So if you're a fan of the Adidas brand, you have Adidas cleats, you're probably gonna want some of the Adidas socks. And they even include the little fold down where they have menace on it if you choose to do that. So they come in multiple colors. I have them in the black colorway because most of the cleats that I wear have a dark color and black kind of goes with everything. But these retail for about $17, $18. Again, the link is going to be in the description. Now, I know some of you guys out there are either Nike guys or you're Adidas guys. So if you're a Nike guy, you definitely want to check out the Nike Vapor Cushion Sock. This is going to be Nike's version of the Cushion Sock. So again, I have it in the black colorway because I wear a lot of black. 
But same thing here, you're gonna have padding in the Achilles area, it's really tough to see, but you're gonna have uh, the gripped ribbing at the bottom as well. Now, Nike has in some of the cleats what's called the Nike Grip System. None of the cleats that I have uh, right now in this bag actually have Nike Grip, but if you have something like the Nike Vapor Untouchable 3 Elite cleats, these actually work in perfect sync and combination, so you have almost zero slip. So this is something, again, if you're a Nike fan, you're gonna wanna pick up. I think out of all the socks, this has the most gripped ribbing at the bottom. Um, they're double cushioned as well in the forefoot to give you that comfort feeling. So what happens if you're not a Nike guy or you're not an Adidas guy or you just want some unbranded socks? There's a brand out there that's a favorite of mine that has minimal branding, so it's not gonna clash with anything that you wear. And it's also gonna be double cushioned in the forefoot, a lot like the socks I just showed you. And it's also around the $17, $18 mark. A lot of you guys, if you're in the basketball community, have probably heard of this, but Stance Socks is definitely some of my favorites. Again, they're gonna have multiple colors, a lot of different kind of wackier designs. Uh, this is kind of a basic colorway in the gray and white. Um, you can see the Stance logo right here, so very minimal branding. It's gonna be cushioned, again, in the Achilles. It's gonna be double cushioned in the forefoot, and again, it's gonna have that ribbing, and it's gonna be left and right specific to give you some of that support uh, in your midfoot. So now they went over cleats and socks. Now we're gonna to get to some of my other favorite stuff, definitely gloves. It's definitely a hot item. If you're familiar with my channel, I've got tons and tons of gloves. Uh, so I'm gonna pull some samples that I bring, and they're really because I have a lot of different colors. Now all the gloves I'm gonna go through are all gonna be receiver gloves. They're all gonna be unpadded, because when you think about seven on seven, you're not gonna have a lot of that contact. It's not tackle football, so all the gloves I bring for 7 on 7 are unpadded. The first that we're gonna look at are the Nike Vapor Jets. I have these in all black. Uh, they have a little white. I've done this review, so you've, I'm sure that you guys have seen that, but definitely the Nike Vapor Jets. I love the magnet grip in this glove, and I love that seamless fit and kind of that surgical look that you have in the glove. Uh, these retail for about $45. Again, they're gonna be in the link in the description. Now, I haven't done this review, but the unboxing is coming, and so is the review but definitely take a look at the new Cutters Rev Pro 3.0 football gloves. So they've done a lot of great things that improve in this glove. I'm not gonna go into that in this video. You're gonna have to check out the review when I do it. Uh, but definitely if you want, if you like cutters, you love the cutters grip, they're machine washable. That grip is actually built into the material. So you're gonna have that durability for game after game, season after season, as long as that material is still there. So these are in the all white colorway, also on East Bay, and these retail for $45. This list would not be complete without some of the Adidas Ad Emoji football gloves. I've got these, the money gloves. I also have the goat gloves. I haven't found the Snoop gloves yet. I have the tag camel gloves and the Ad 07.0. I think I have like four or five different ones. But this version here that I'm showing you are the Ad Emoji because when you think about seven on seven, you wanna be out there, you wanna be looking good, you wanna be feeling good, you wanna be making a statement, you wanna be showing them who's the best. So I have cleats to match. I didn't put them in this video, but if I'm gonna be wearing Ad Emoji cleats, you gotta go with some Ad Emoji gloves. So these retail for about $50, $5 more than the standard Ad Emoji 7.0 gloves. There's no difference between those and the Ad Emoji, except that these have emojis on them. So definitely check that out. I went over, I did that video review as well, along with the cleats. So there's about seven different versions of these. Uh, so if you're a fan of the way that these look, and making a statement, definitely check that video out. Now your swag would not be complete if you didn't have a set of bicep bands. Whether you're gonna be rocking the Adidas bicep bands if you're an Adidas guy, or you're gonna be rocking the Nike bands and the swoosh if you're a Nike guy. These come in various colors, so both around seven or eight dollars. I pulled a black and a white because again, I like to match with everything, and black and white definitely go with both those colors. So Adidas bands are gonna be a little bit thicker. You can see it here, they're about three fourths of an inch where these are about half an inch or a quarter to a half inch. Uh, so those are the differences there, but definitely you can rock those on your legs, on your arms. I actually made a video about that a couple years ago that was a fan favorite. So if you haven't seen that, I'm gonna try to link that video somewhere in here for that review. But again, everything I have in this video, you can purchase from a link in the description. So this is something that's not talked about very much. And this is something that's very, very, very important for me. And all you quarterbacks out there probably already know what I'm gonna say. But when I think about flag football, uh, I wanna have every advantage that I possibly can. And for that reason, I always, as much as I can, try to go with the Wilson GST football. Now what you see here is the official Wilson College Football, the 1003 GST. That's gonna be real leather. It's gonna have 
pebbled laces for additional grip for quarterbacks. It's going to have real stitched on. It's the only football that has stitched on laces. The stitched on laces are going to act as an additional grip point. So this is actually thicker. It's tactified on top of the football. It's going to make it easier to throw the ball as well as easier to catch the ball in the catch zone. Now, a lot of my friends out there, a lot of you guys probably like to use an NFL ball. The reason why I stay away from NFL balls for flag football is these have a different shape. These are actually going to taper a little bit quicker, which means it's gonna be easier to throw for smaller hands and easier to catch for smaller hands. So your catch rating is only gonna go up and your accuracy is only gonna go up with a football uh, that is college size that actually tapers in this way. The reason, another reason why I like the college football is because of the white lines. When the ball is in the air, this is gonna make it easier to track on offense. Now it's also gonna make it easier to track on defense and spot the ball, but if you're a good quarterback, good receiver, your connection is gonna go up when you have a striped ball where it's easier to track in all different types of environments and conditions. At night, an NFL ball can kinda of get lost in the lights, and that's not something that you're gonna have happen with a ball with the white stripes on it. Now this ball is expensive. It's the real GST, as I mentioned, that they use in college. It's about $80 from East Bay, but if you don't have $80 to spend, Wilson actually makes another football that's also a GST that's very, very close related. So this is the GST 1780. It's another favorite of mine. Now this is real leather, so it's gonna be super durable. It's gonna last you a long time. This GST is only $35 and has a lot of the technology and similarities of the $80 ball. It's still gonna have the pebbled laces. So it's gonna give you additional grip points for throwing the football. It's gonna make your balls be a little bit more accurate. Now they do also have the white laces. They have this kind of fake stitching, so it doesn't have the additional stripe. This is a painted stripe on the 1780, but it's still gonna allow you to track the ball in the air, although it's not gonna give you that additional grip point uh, that this football does with the actual stitched on laces. Now the material is still gonna be very tacky on this. It's a composite football, as you might be able to see in the name, while this one is the full leather, so it's not gonna be as durable, but this ball is a lot cheaper, uh, so it's still gonna be tactified. It's gonna provide excellent grip for you, and they are the same exact size football. So if you can't afford the $80 ball, definitely check out the $35 ball in that link in the description. Now I told you guys I was gonna go over every single thing that's in my football bag, and one thing that's important is to stay hydrated. You're playing those in those tournaments, you're playing outdoors, you're playing for games, even if it's just one game, you're gonna wanna stay hydrated. Now the water bottle that I choose is the Camelback Podium Big Chill. And the reason why I choose this specific brand and model of water bottles is for a couple reasons. One, it's insulated. So anything that you pour in there before you leave home to go to your game, you put a little ice, it's gonna last 24 hours, it's gonna last the whole day. The other thing is, it's not gonna spill in your bag. I've went through so many water bottles that, are, that spill in your bag. Now you've got either the screw top, which is hard to drink out of, right? You've got gloves on, you wanna get a quick sip, you've gotta unscrew it. You have the ones that are the squeeze bottles where you don't have to unscrew it, you just grab the water bottle and squeeze it in your mouth. However, with this, this has the best of both worlds. It has the simple locking tab. Right now it's locked, right now it's open, and it still has that squeeze feature. So you lock it up, put it in your bag, it's not gonna spill. As soon as you want a drink, you can twist it, open it up, squeeze it, and then you can take a drink. So that's why this is my favorite water bottle. Now while flag football and seven on seven isn't really contact, you guys know just as well as me that it can kind of get heated in those games. You definitely want to protect yourself as you're trying to perform to your, the best of your abilities. So something that you're going to want is a mouth guard. Now the Battle Oxygen Mouth Guard is a fan favorite of a lot of people. One, they've got so many different designs. I think East Bay has about 15 to 20 different designs of just the Battle Oxygen, but also it's pretty inexpensive at around $20. And then when you look at the mouth guard type, it's not a boil and bite. Anyone can take this out of the package, put it in, and be ready to go in that instant. So that's gonna be something that you can just pull off the shelf and you can use without having to form the perfect fit that's gonna give you that protection. This mouth guard, if you guys are gonna use it for tackle, is gonna work as well. I don't have the actual strap on it for a helmet because in 7 on 7, you're not wearing a helmet that you have to have it strapped to. So all that equipment that I just went through, you're gonna need a place to store it and to keep it and carry it to your games. The bag that I use is this large Nike duffel. You can see how big this bag is that's able to hold all the gear that I just showed you. Multiple cleats, multiple gloves, multiple footballs, water bottles, the mouth guard, all the compression, you name it, holds everything. Now this is the, the large Nike duffel, also available at eastbay.com. Definitely check out the link in the description. So if you liked this video, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.